Hi, it's Esther, the Trucking Scribe. Today I'm working on this, the second part of one of the Peace of God junk journals that my creative team and I are working on for the next seven weeks. So I took this little Debbie's box and I cut off part of it. So here's the rest of it. I got some brown wrapping paper from Amazon and put it on here, Mod Podged it and all. And then in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did the binding and the signatures. So I hope that you enjoy this video and all the others. Let me know which one you like best or you might think about using. Um, I have a traveler's notebook. I have a envelope folio and now we have a cupcake box. So thank you so much for watching. So we are back to our little junk journal. So let's see, this was from so I've already done some of this, like the papers and the covering in a, the first part of the video, but I wanted to put this in to start with. Um, this is what I'm using here. I just cut the rest of the end off and I used some fabric. So I'm making this the Peace of God project that we're doing um, on Fridays and I'm, I'm going throughout the whole week. So we have all these scriptures that Diana has so graciously put together. But then right here, Diane has given us these verses. And I just took and stuck them on the back of the pages just to give them a little more strength. Some of them I'm probably going to use for tag, uh, not tags, but just like this. So what I wanted to do, instead of using the main kit, kits that we have, Diane and I both have one, I am just working on this one that's going to be just junk around the house. Like I said, this is the beginning of my box. And what I want to do is find one of these. I think this one's going to be too big, but I like it. No thing can separate us from the love of God that is Christ Jesus our Lord. You will keep in perfect peace these those who whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Jesus, the way the truth, the lie. Give to God and go to sleep. I like this one. Peace reigns within, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And then this goes with the song sheet, this is well with my soul, that I just saw, and I was thinking I might put it in here. So she did give us these two songs. And put these in their little box. I think this is going to be my cover sheet, my, my front cover. So what I've done, if you're just getting here in the middle of the video, <laughs> I'm making three or four different videos putting them together. So this is a Hostess Little Debbie box. Since I've already glued this down, I'm gonna use some of these. I'm gonna use two. So the other question is, I think I want this to go on the top. I want that one better. I want this better. So this is going to be the top. I'm going to 
put my Velcro right there. Kind of match them up if I can. Then what I'm going to do is pull these off. And I'm going to make sure the sticky side is up because I have put the wrong side down. And to get these to where they'll fit on my my book right, I'm just going to close it up like this. What I'm thinking about doing with this journal is doing like an X and possibly even a couple of X's. So I do not want these here, but I'm wondering how many do I want in a signature. One, two, three, four. I have these also that I wanted to stick in here. I don't know that I like the feel of the gesso, but I have made them, so I'm going to put them in here. Okay. I also found these. They're paste paper that I think I'm going to be able to. Yeah. That was made, that I made a while back. What? eight or nine years ago he's just sitting here so use those I'm gonna use some of this like I said this is just stuff that I had laying around you could use coloring book pages Let me see. I'm trying to decide do I want two or three signatures just because of the way I want to do the X's on top. So this is kind of what I'm trying wanting to achieve on here, but I don't need that many that much on the spine. So I'm thinking I need at least So I could do three signatures and get two X's going down. So this is one inch. So I could go a quarter of an inch, then right there. So I've measured my top right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it. And third, so first I need to fold it in half. It's just a no math way. Then I'm going to take that half and I'm going to fold this up to it. So now I have three different lines to put my holes in. So the next question is, I don't have this quite long enough. I just go glue this down. Trying to get simpler on my poor brain today. So that gives us our thirds. That way. So then I need a measurement 
this way. Um, about right there. So again, I'm going to fold this in half and get my middle line right here. And then I'm going to go, yeah, half an inch, get my other line. And since I want to have more, I want to have more of a design, I could go ahead and do, let me do that in half. So what I'm doing is I'm folding that one line right here to meet the center line. That gives me a couple of more spots here. And then go ahead and draw these lines all the way down if I want. So if you're not a math person, this works pretty good too. I'm not that great in math. Okay, so I have that. I may have to post, post this one in two videos. Let's see. Maybe I can cut out enough. I think I'm going to put I want that one in the middle. You know what I would like to do is have more of it. Like that. Could do it that way. And then open it. Have a little bit of blue there, a little bit of color. And right now I'm just clipping them together so I can keep up with what I'm doing because I'm crazy. And I think we'll have just enough to do 15. And there's a full one in that one. In the middle. So again, I'm taking and put lining this up with this bottom right here. And it doesn't have to be exactly lined up. And then I'm just going to fold it. And this is going to go over there. And we can, we're going to add more stuff to that later. Somewhere I have a foam piece of mat that I usually do this on. So let's see. This is going to be the front. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold it right there. And where all these cross over, so right there, right here. Ow. Didn't quite get me, but it was trying. I'm just trying to get a hole started. I'm not trying to make it go through all the way. I can do that after I get the holes on here. See where I want them. So, yeah, now I can't see them. There's one. So I'm going to poke them in. To where I can see them because this color is not very forgiving. I love the feel of this though. So if you're doing this this way, watch your fingers because when that comes through, you see, you can catch your fingers for sure.
So I'm thinking about what color red I want to use. I have some paint that would go with that pink. So I know I have at least one more video for this week, week one. I'm going to show you how to put lines on the page. So all these are punched through. Now what I want to do is make holes in my signatures. And we will be making two signatures, or sewing two at one time. I'm just going to put this in here so I can poke the holes. And I want to poke all five holes. Okay, so there's one. This one's going to be number two. I love this way of putting journals together. The pattern that comes out on the other side is just, I like it. I like the little mixes. It just gives it some something different. And I could do a little bit closer than this, and but I'm not wanting to go too close right now. I may do another one later and we can do that. Okay, so all of them have holes in. So now, should I use the paint? How much paint do I got in here? I have a blue. What about this one? Too dark. I think that pink will show up with the reds in the background. So what I'm going to do, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do extra because I'm going to do two at a time. Let me see if I can find a needle that might work. Nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put something on this to say this is the top so I can remember it. So you decide how you want these to go in. I start at the back. It's just where I'm always started. Let me see. Looks like I started at the bottom. Um, oh, I have quite a few of these if anybody's interested. I have some black ones, some brown ones. So instead of starting in the middle, I'm going to start at that first hole. And I'm going to go in this bottom one. Okay, I'm going to pull my thread so I've got a little bit left, and I'm actually going to pin it right there just so it doesn't get lost. So then, what I'm going to do, I know y'all can't see this well, so I'm going to go back in this hole down here. I don't know how I can make this a little bit more where you can see it. Because if I can't see it, I don't know how you're seeing it. It's just a look. So I'm just trying to put a little bit of color on there so you guys can see it, but it's also going to be like a decorative thing too. 
So I'm just using that gesso in my little um what is this called? Scoring tool, I guess. So I hope y'all are enjoying everybody's videos on the peace of God. I know this week we've talked a little bit about it. We're not talked a lot. So when you have all these things going on in life and just feels like everything's going crazy, that's when it's time to, well, it's always time to stop and feel the peace of God. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this one up for a minute. Like this. Probably don't need to do that though, do I? And see how I've got it folded and it's going in this bottom. I'm coming out right here. I'm going to cross over to here. And I'm going to come out on the other side. So now we're in the middle. I'm going to take the next one, and I'm going to come up through the second hole. So right here is where I'm going to come up. Here's the first hole. Here's the second. And I do find this easier to to do one hole at a time. So instead of going back up to the top, we're going to go through the middle right here and find its corresponding hole, which is right there. So then I'm going to come down here on the outside hole. And you can tighten these up as you go. I usually get get started first and then I apologize for the mess of paper that was going on. So as you get your as you get everything in you can tighten it up a little bit. So then on this back one I'm coming down to the bottom. Right there, and I'm going to go in the bottom hole. So, on this side, the inside of the journal, your lines, your, your, so on the inside, you've just got your thread going up and down on all of them. So, see over here. The outside is where we're crisscrossing. Then we're going to want to come over here and go in this way. And come through that middle hole. I hope y'all can see. Um, I'm going to have to get a different camera angle, I think, to get this a better view sometimes. And that's what I can look at next time. See, I've come up there. And I'm just kind of tightening up my loops. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom. And I'm going to come out and I'm going to go in that bottom. And as I go, I'm starting to try and pull these a little tighter. So you can see right here. Here we go, it's starting to show up. So we're going to come in here, go in through this paper, and you will have more than you already have a piece of thread in there. But we're going to go through there again. And 
and for me it's usually easier to do like go one hole then go and do the the next part And then I'm going to go in the middle and go in the middle outside. And I do need to tighten these up, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And you don't pull on it hard, just pull on it gently. I'm just going to clip this back to this little paper. Let's see, let's clip that way. So then we're going to come down to this hole. See where I'm coming out? I can't see, so I'm sure you can't either. There I am. Like I said, I'm just going to do baby steps. It's been a long time since I've done this one so I'm having to think about what I'm doing. And I have a sharp needle so that's not helping me a lot. I'm going back over here and I'm just working kind of pulling that And I'm going to come back through the middle hole right here. And I can feel I'm catching the thread of the other piece. So you got to kind of feel that. You don't want to go and split the thread. So I'll come back out down here. And somewhere, you're going to end up in a different spot. But Okay, so I'm going to go back in here. Believe me, this is not as hard as it looks. It's just trying to get the right angles so that maybe y'all can see. You're basically doing the same thing. If you're sewing a three-hole pamphlet stitch, you're doing the same stitch. It's just going in and out different holes. Then I'm going to go back in, right here at the top. I'm going to go through that hole. No, not, not that hole. So this is where, yeah, okay. I'm going to go down to the middle because, see, I need to cross over this one. Okay. Then I'm going to go in this middle hole and come back out the middle signature. And you already have thread coming through here. So And I'm going to go out the top. Okay. And then I'm coming in right here on that on the in, on the back. 
I only have all this left right here. See right here, I've just flipped that thread, so I need to pull it back out because it's going to lock, and I don't want it locking that way. It just seems dark today. I got my window open. So we're going to finish our. X right here and try not to catch that thread this time. Actually, it's going to go through pretty nice. You know, book binders, they say they're professional and they can do this by feel because they hold it on the side like this, so this is the side of your table only. I'll have to try and do that one day. I'm not that good at it. There we go. Got it straight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and straight, uh, tighten these little pieces up. Not real tight. And that is one problem with this particular technique is that it doesn't take much for it to get bound up on each other. So there's one. We're just going to tie it off. I'm going to make sure I put that under so I can tie it a little bit better. Okay, so now we have the middle and the back signature on. I think we're going to have to trim some, but this will be okay too. So now we're going to take this blunt needle instead of the sharper one. And I'm going to thread it. I'm going to stick that needle there. And basically we're going to do the same kind of a stitch. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to go in. And you can see I'm coming back out. I'm going to cross over to here. This is where you put your, second, your next signature on. So you see there's two holes. You want the second one for this this round. So we're gonna go in the second one. And you know, if I took off, 
I don't know why I took that binder clip off. So then we're going to go up one and back out. I'm going to go down here. So we're going down and across, and then we're going to come back and get the other stitches that we've missed. So you're going to go in here. This does get easier. I'm just not at a good angle. No, I keep saying that. So then you're coming back out here. And we're going to pull this kind of top so our front is starting to lay down. So we're right here. We're going to go to the top. And we're going to come out that middle top hole. You see, here we are. So now we're going to cross over and then we're going to go up. So we're going to come in here. And if this is really confusing, I will try and do another one, maybe with like one one sheet of paper for each signature, so it's more, it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. So I'm coming out. See how they're just going. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one a little tall. There we go. So now we want to go and cross over that one, see? So we're going back in here. That's going to be four pieces of thread coming through that hole. So it is probably better if you just take your time, where you don't get caught up on the in the middle of the threads. So if you go and you want to go through the middle like that, that puts a knot in your thread. So then I see I have an opening there. I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to cross over. And come back up through the middle, so down through this one. Then I'll come back up right here so I can get this last stitch on the bottom. So this is something that definitely as you're working on and you're getting frustrated like I am, you need to just slow down and think about that peace that God gives us. And really for me, that peace comes when I am creating. 
and I'm making stuff. I can have a million things go on. For instance, just like when I was writing my thesis, this was my break. This would be something I can do to find that peace, to commune with God. See, I'm talking, and I'm not paying attention. But yeah, you can, everybody has something that helps them just to relax. It's just for them that is calming. Now here we are. We're back on the side where we started. No, oh, time or not. Believe it or not, I think we're just about done here. With this part anyway. So there is our journal. We'll see about this closure. I'm not sure I may have to put some more Velcro. We'll see. So, now that I've got myself thoroughly confused, where did my have this that I'm going to put on here, but I'm going to put some more. Let me get my bear out. I do have some paint to go with that. Put it across there. Too much. Can put this down here. I do like this yellow a little bit though. Bigger piece back there. That looks more like me. This or have some to do both, huh? I think I'm like this. This would be like a bedtime dream. I'm going to get my fabric pack. I'm going to get my fabric Then I'm going to put the line right here.
Now I am curious to know if anybody knows how to make those stop. Putting that glue when you turn it back right side up on this fabric tag. Yeah, this piece I can stick right there. Just to bring a little more interest. Good there. Yeah, so I can bunch of into a little goofy. like that. Let's go ahead and put some fabric tack on it because it's not going to stay if I don't. Let's go up just a little bit. I've got these little pieces that I uh, trimmed off from the thread. I can get a bow made. Okay. All right, so that is the cover. So I need a lot of peace from God on this, getting this one together. But we got it. We helped us, and we got it, and. Mr. Gobby, this is a piece of handmade paper I made a long time ago, too. I hope that you enjoyed this little video on a cross stitch journal cover. Thank you for stopping by and watching it. If you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave me a comment, even if it's just a little heart, smiley face, funny, crazy face, you know, something, and I'll come by and check, check your channel.